Welcome back to the part 2 of the surface modeling tutorial. Now when you have modeled your splines, go to insert, surface, loft, right click and choose select manager, and in profiles, click this upper spline, right click, choose the lower spline, and right click, like so, press once in guide curves, choose this one, right click, choose this one, and this one and right click like so choose this one and this one and right click like so and choose this one and this one and right click like so and press ok like this now expand this feature click this one hold shift and click here and choose show like so rotate the part go to insert surface Choose loft, click on the upper spline, right click to accept, click the lower spline, right click to accept, press in guide curves, choose this one, right click, choose this one, this one, right click, zoom in here, choose this one, this one, right click, and choose this one, and this one, and right click, and click OK. So now we have the surfaces of our of our wind blade. Now click this one, hold shift and click this one and select hide. Click this one and here and choose hide like so and right click sketch one and choose hide like so and right click right plane and choose hide. Now go to insert, go to surface, go to planar like so click here and here, right click to accept, press enter, so we get it back, now rotate the part, click here and here to get a planar surface here, right click to accept, like so, now go to insert, go to surface, choose knit, choose merge entities, choose this surface, this surface, this surface, and this surface, and check try to form solid and click OK. Like so. Go to features, go to dome, click on the endpoint of our blade, like so. Rotate the part so you have a nice view of it, like this. Now in distance type 350, and press enter, like so. Uncheck continuous dome, like this, and click OK. So now we have a nice end of our wind blade. Click on the back part here and choose sketch. Choose convert entities like so and click OK. Now select it all like this and choose offset entities. Choose 250 like this, press enter once and choose make base construction and press enter like this. Go to features, go to extruded bus base. Now type 250 in this one, press enter and select OK, like this. Now let's add some fillets, choose fillet and choose 50 like this, choose this edge and this surface like so. Right click to accept. Now we have an aerodynamic blade for a wind turbine. That was all, I hope you enjoyed my tutorial and you will find it useful. Goodbye.